Today on Combustion Chamber Live, we are here with the Mopar Outlaws. But this is not just another car show. This is a car show for a good cause, to get school supplies together for kids in need. Let's get after it. And let's get things started off right with my good friend's Hellcat here, Sunstorm, Decepticon themed car. See, he's got a lot of aftermarket uh, graphics running down the side. Very nice, of course, representing Mopar Outlaws of Florida. Really, really nice car. Aftermarket wheels, looking very nice there. And like I say, some of these cars are themed. So, like I said, Decepticon Sunstorm right there. That's pretty cool. And people are still showing up. I mean, look at the turnout. Of course, we got radio stations showing up. It's crazy here. But, like I said, good cause. And right here, we got some more Mopar Outlaw action happening right here. So, we've got the Dodge Charger. This is a V6, 3.6 liter, which is marked right there on the engine shroud. Beautiful, bright green color. I love this color combination with the red accents and the carbon fiber that run down the middle of the car. Very, very nice looking. You know, whether it's you know V6, V8, supercharged, naturally aspirated, we all you know, we all love these cars. I started out with a V6 Camaro. That's where I started. So when I see a six-cylinder, hey man, it's all good with me. And yes, Chrysler is Mopar. Here's another car that is with the Mopar Outlaws. And as you can see, it's the same platform, same engine as the one we saw right over there very cool car this one has been taken to the nines and that's what's pretty cool about some of these six cylinder cars whether it's a challenger or a charger is that what a lot of guys end up doing is they end up putting a lot of looks and appearance into it which is great and this guy has spared no expense a little Jurassic Park reference there but uh, definitely has it all decked out it's got those aftermarket wheels I don't know what those are called, but I see them everywhere. The lug nuts with the, uh, the they look like a, a arrow or a fine tip to it. Not sure exactly what those are called, but pretty neat looking. And definitely a nice, nice car with this deep, rich, metallic blue color. We have a lot of Jeeps showing up, which fall under Mopar as well. And Mopar Outlaws and other clubs coming in. Challengers, Chargers. <laughs> here with Chucky riding up top. Now some of these Jeeps, I'm gonna tell you what, man, are tricked out to the nines, man. You don't see a lot of Jeeps like this every day. Uh, they have a ton of this aftermarket on it. Of course, boom and sound systems, we know that already. But we come here, check out this killer wrap on this 392. Very nice. down there coming in from that direction even more all the way 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 out there coming in this is going to be a massive show massive turnout of course for a great cause so they can get school supplies to kids uh, that need them now i'm a big fan of this one right here i love the yellow accents that run throughout a little little bit of green in that yellow there very nice on the black and white 392 hemi great looking car and it's got a ton of power. I mean, you know, to think that we could get a, a, a four-door car with legroom <laughs> and all that good stuff, but with this kind of power and the ability to customize it with so many aftermarket performance parts, it's great. And I love this color combo. This is a slick looking mobile. As we make our way down here, we got a 6.4 liter. We got a Daytona. We got a custom wrap here. I also want to remind y'all to subscribe and hit that bell icon for instant notifications when we go live with new episodes of such as this. Now, I love this purple. I love it a lot. 
And Mopar, throughout their entire history, you know, especially on the Dodge side, the Chargers, the Challengers, even back in the muscle car era, were not known for being subtle, especially with their graphics and their paint. Or back then, I think it was all painted on. I don't think it was graphics, but I may I may be uh, incorrect about that. But this one, it's got the B right there. Very, very cool. <laughs> That is that beautiful, beautiful purple. Forget what they call this though, but I love it. And right here, we've got some six cylinders, some eight cylinders, Chryslers, Dodge. But here's the thing, it's all part of the Mopar family. We're gonna check out some Radical Jeeps earlier. A lot of what we saw coming in is getting parked right now. It's just such a nice lineup. And everybody, you know, they, they kind of try to make it their own. Some are still works in progress. Well, if you ever, uh, built a car or modified a car or something like that, you know it's always a work in progress. Now, here is something I haven't seen in a good long while. It's one of these wagons and I I love them. They had a sort of a pseudo chop top look from the factory. I kind of like the lines uh, as you go down here, uh, the, the, between the, the spacing between the, the door and the window. And this is an SRT8. It's got SRT8 on the, the seats. And so most of these were sold as six cylinders, the Dodge Magnums. So, to see one out here in the eight is pretty cool. I believe these were referred to just as the Dodge Magnum. So I thought this was a really neat and powerful, aggressive looking wagon. Owners blacked everything out. It's got those aggressive SRT wheels on there. So it's really, really neat to see one of these out here today and to see an eight cylinder version of it as well. And right here, we got a 392 Charger with some uh, interesting graphics running throughout, like move over. <laughs> So this guy probably likes to drive in the fast lane. Looks like he's got some aftermarket uh, air intake action going on there. Really nice, bright, vivid orange. He's got the 01 there. Now I'm going to take uh, take a guess. That's uh, an homage to Dukes of Hazard. I mean, I'm just guessing, but I think it might be. Very cool. Now, here's something I like about this car. I, I don't know how modified it is under the hood or not, but what I want to point out was the silver and chrome wheels. I like that. A lot of people now, when they got a silver car, they're putting black wheels on it. And if that's your thing, that's great. I'm not knocking it, but I love the chrome on silver on a lot of cars. And I thought this one just looked nice. Just real clean, real simple. And then we got a Scat Pack 392 right next to it in that sort of primer gray color. I know. I know I keep forgetting what the name of it is. Just leave a comment down below. You can correct me. It's okay. I got thick skin. I'm on YouTube. <laughs> and this Challenger's got some of that retro badging right here from the muscle car days. Very, very cool. And all oh, those burgers smell good. And now this one's been modified a bit. I love the stripe going down just the driver's side of the car, the, the black and the blue. Looks like his intake has been uh, gloss black. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I think it's always been a matte black finish, if I'm not mistaken. Very, very nice. Now, this car is pretty slick. I love the red LEDs that go around the uh, headlights there. Very cool looking. I want to get a close-up shot of that for you guys. <laughs> That's pretty wild. And he's got the custom lettering on the tires, those bullet spike uh, Lug nuts, let's get, don't know what they're called. Uh, I should know though, right? I should know. Very clean though, very nice. And something I like on this one right next to it is the, those, I don't know what you'd call them, uh, kind of dark gold, smoke gold uh, wheels on there. They're pretty aggressive, pretty unique. Yeah, they kind of, I don't know, like spider's legs or something, but that is pretty wild. Now, I love this green. If you go to our YouTube channel, check out our Hellcat episode. It's one of one uh, Challenger Hellcat with this green. And this green is a revival of a color they had back in the late 60s or early 70s. Absolutely love this color. Now, what are those yellow things at the bottom there? Well, I thought it was a styling thing, something you bought aftermarket. But if, if my understanding is correct, these are actually safety pieces that owners choose to leave on or put back on and I believe they're put on there during transit, during the delivery of the vehicle, but people seem to like that yellow accent. When I first saw it, I just thought it was some sort of aftermarket uh, or, or possibly an option uh, uh, for looks, so just a look thing. But if you look real close, right here, and I hope you can see that, it says to be 
to, to, to be removed by dealer. So very, very interesting that they keep it on, but it's a looks thing. It's very popular right now. Of course, love the Charger in just a classic blue. Uh, not quite like my, my GTO, but still very, very close in color. Uh, blue just happens to be one of my favorite colors. I think that car looks nice. And here we've got, uh, we've got a Challenger with some custom graphics work on it. Some of this might be factory as well, but I don't think the, uh, the fighter jet logo right there uh, comes from the factory. But, you know, he's got the Brembo brakes on it, the slotted rotors, which, if I'm not mistaken, all of this is something that you can get from the, the, the dealer now, which is pretty amazing. Uh, the, the, the factory options and all the things that you can get now, I mean, the perform level of performance you can get straight from the dealership is pretty amazing. So what does Mopar mean exactly? Is it just Dodge? Or is it a whole variety of companies? Well, that is the correct answer. It's a variety of companies. So it's Dodge, Jeep, Chrysler, Ram trucks, and it encompasses a lot of different brands. And they share some parts. They sometimes share engines. So you're going to see a lot of you know Hemi's in, in various vehicles by different names and different manufacturers. And I'm knelt down next to this Challenger because I really like those I don't know what call you call them bronzish on this dark silver metallic looks really nice it's got the uh the scarred eye there very cool we make our way down i love this light blue uh the new wide body when they debuted it you know at least through the ads they have this light baby blue color on there i don't even know if you call it baby blue but i love it and what's here, what did i say mopar encompasses trucks as well so here's one of these real custom Big old Ram trucks, these things are huge. Let me try to get the full thing in there for you. Lots of chrome, aftermarket wheels. It's got the air cleaner right on top. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But it feeds, yeah, it feeds right down in there. So it's uh, it's gotta be functional, I assume it is. You don't want your engine overheating. So I haven't seen that set up in a long time. Usually when you see an air cleaner right on top of the motor like that, uh, of course this one's further far, or you know, that's carbureted engines, old school stuff around here he's got the Dodge Ram and the Punisher logo on there this is a limited edition or the limited edition and we come back here it looks like he's left something up he must want us to check out which is his sound system under his back seat here so I'm pretty sure that this thumps pretty hard of course I love my music so you know, a sound system like that for a lot of people is a must. And this is pretty trick too. He's got the stitching down there, the wood grain, and he's got something that all of us, you know, hot rod people or big truck loving people uh, feel the pain on. And that is the uh, trying to pull the back for me. No, no, I need more gas mileage. Because uh, you know what? A lot of these engines now take higher octane fuel and uh, they're not exactly the most fuel efficient. So, and one more thing, I brushed by it without noticing it, but look at the uh, saddle straps right there. That's pretty wicked. I want to just highlight that before we move on to some of the other vehicles. Now, some cars out here like this Daytona put on a little bit of a light show for you, and we'll get a better look at this as the sun goes down tonight, but they've got those colored LEDs with a pattern going there, very nice. And this one is still running. It looks like some of the family members are still inside. Uh, enjoying that AC because inside is packed it's game night as well so the venue is definitely packed love the black white and red uh, look on this one very cool got a bright green Daytona very similar to color probably the exact same color as one of our episodes on combustion chamber where he tore off an 11 inch piece of tread doing a monster burnout donut session for us and right here we got another black challenger very very cool so the row we just went down is now getting super, super packed. We just checked out these cars just a couple of minutes ago, and now they're having to stack cars in front of the already parked cars because this is just such a huge event. There's that blue that I like so much there. I wonder if we're gonna see or if they're available to buy any of the new uh, Charger wide bodies. And you know, they released that video recently. So like I said, you got all kinds here. Now they, some of them look the same, but they got different engines, different specs, different custom work on it. And right here, check out this custom 392 Durango. Pretty cool. So once again, 
that encompasses all of Mopar. So you get SUVs out here as well. Very nice. A lot of custom Thank work you. and a lot of hard work put into this. So right here we have something that Jeep guys like to do and I think it's pretty awesome where they drive up on another Jeep. We've seen this before in previous episodes. I always like to highlight it. I think it's cool. I think the Jeep crowd is cool. Of course my wife owns a Jeep so if I don't film these uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hear about it later. But really cool that they do this. Of course these are all tricked out in crazy different ways. Aftermarket rims and tires. Maybe they lift them even higher. Suspension, graphics, lights, sound systems, wraps, you name it. Got this real aggressive looking, almost Decepticon-like, uh, mean looking grill here. We come around here. Got the doors off, open air. Very cool. Now I wonder, do they turn on the AC when they're going down the road in this? Probably not, I wouldn't. Very cool. And here is another Jeep, of course, with the doors on, but uh, look, what looks to me, aftermarket fenders here, lifted. It's got that texturing on it, that sort of, uh, what I used to call bed liner texturing, or this could be uh, uh, just the texture of the metal. And we have another killer lineup on the back row here. Got another pickup truck and a metallic black. Very cool, with black badging. That's pretty, that's pretty wild. Also want to remind you to subscribe, hit that bell icon for instant notifications when we go live with new episodes such as this. If you want to support us on Patreon, that's great because this is a completely independent operation. We're also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Got more people showing up looking for parking now. That's why I got here so early. Even though I don't own a Mopar, I had to get here early because we got people really trying to pack it in now. Got a lot of really badass Jeeps here trying to find parking. This show gets filled up wit and, and for good reason man i mean look at the custom work look at the quality of the vehicles from the jeeps to the muscle cars to the pickup trucks the suvs you name it so earlier we talked about themed cars and right here we got the jurassic park raptor theme car so they've got the figurines and that lights up at night that transparent piece right there 3.5 liter V6. And we come down the side right here. And it's got the Raptor graphic. <laughs> and it's got blue right here on the back for the show. Pretty interesting and unique theme. It also has the line from the first Jurassic Park, Clever Girl. And right here we got something pretty wild. A Hellcat with what looks like aftermarket or custom carbon fiber wide body kit there very slick looks like it's been bagged so he can drop it like this when he comes to a show lift it back up so he can get over speed bumps and things like that really interesting to see one of these in black with that peanut butter interior i like so much with some looks like orangish reddish accents around the dash and the console very very cool and the hood close. So maybe this is a Christine car, right? Maybe it's alive. If I get too close, it'll try to kill me because it knows I'm a GM dude. Very cool work though on that carbon fiber. So this is what it's all about here today is getting school supplies. You see they got these big boxes filled up, getting more as more people show up. But this is the sport, you know, kids that need school supplies, schools that need school supplies for those that just simply can't afford it. There are some people that are in that situation, and it's good to see these people out here helping like they are today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I want to thank the Mopar Outlaws specifically. They're a great group of people, and I always enjoy filming their cars. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for instant notifications when we go live with new episodes such as this.